So for someone like myself, thinking about only having two watches is kind of a difficult idea for me to stomach. That said, for the vast majority of people out there that are just looking for watches to cover every scenario, I don't think you need a lot of watches in your collection to really do this adequately. What's going on everybody? My name is Teddy Baldassar, and in this video we are gonna be looking at the two types of watches that you absolutely need to own. In this video we're gonna of course be looking at these two types of watches, why I think they're important, and then lastly, at the end, going through each different price tier and offering some options uh, for you to go look at for each one of these types of watches. So guys, without further ado, let's jump into it. So an important thing to address before we jump into this is there are some one watch collection watches out there as an example, like a Rolex Explorer that could be suitable for literally any situation that you have. That said, I like the versatility that comes with having two watches as well as the options that you have at your disposal. So what are these two types of watches that you should own? The first is an everyday watch. This is a watch that will be able to be worn casually and can really take on any situation. For me, the perfect everyday watch has the ability to be dressed down as well as having some potential to be dressed up as well, and usually has at least 50 meters water resistance so you can jump in the pool with it. For me, this watch can also be a diver, but I find most divers to be a bit clunky, and they tend to not have the most versatility with outfits as other pieces do. However, that said, if that is your style and you prefer it, go for it. The second piece is a dress piece. Even if you are the most blue collar individual, you will still have occasions when you will need to dress up and that casual everyday piece that I mentioned above will just simply not be enough. And the reason that I love dress pieces is that many of them can be dressed down as well. It is much easier to dress down a dress watch than it is to dress up a casual watch. So now that we have those two different types of watches determined, let's go through a list of different price tiers and some options that you have at your disposal for each one. Before we jump in though, I think it's important to address that I have done list videos on pretty much every price tier that I'm gonna be going through. If you guys have not seen those videos on my channel before, I will link to them in the description down below to check out. So first up is our $200 budget. And for an everyday piece, I would recommend going for say a Seiko SNK 800 series, uh, a Seiko SNK 791, 93 or 95, uh, the Timex Navy Harbor or the Weekender, or a Guanchin GJ16034. For dress pieces, I would take a look at the Orient Bambino, the Seiko SNKL23, and the Timex Fairfield. All right, now for $500, for an everyday piece, I would recommend going for a Seiko SNKE51, the Seiko SNK800 series again, as well as maybe a Swatch System 51. If you want to go the diver route, you have some great options in this price range. Check out an Orient Mako 2, an SKX, or a Dan Henry. For a dress piece, I would check out a Timex Marlin, an Orient Bambino again, or a Tissot every time. Now for $1,000, for an everyday piece, go for a Hamilton Khaki Mechanical, or at least consider it, a Seiko Alpinist, or I can throw in some curveballs here and take a look at a couple micro brands that I really like, Brew Watches, as well as Martinero. Two micro brands that I think have really solid price points something you really can't say for a lot of micro brands. Now for a dress piece in this $1,000 budget range, I would take a look at a Mito Barancelli, a Seiko Sarb 033, a 035, uh, the Seiko Presage line, or a Tissot Visodate. Now for $2,500 budget, check out a Nomos Club, a Zen 104, a Zen 556, a Mito Commander, or a Stova. Also, an Oris Big Crown Pro Pilot is a great option as well. For dress pieces, check out a Young Hands Max Bill, a Stova Marine Classique, or an Antia Classique, or check out Long Jeans' Heritage line. Now for our $5,000 budget, for an everyday piece, I would double up with my recommendation of the Nomos Club or the Club Campus, then the Tudor Black Bay 36 or the full-sized uh, Tudor Black Bay, and then again with Zinn and Stova. Love German watches, I think they really have some tremendous value. And then for a dress piece, I would either take a look at like an Omega DeVille, a Nomos Orion, a Ludwig from Nomos, uh, a Long Jeans, or a Frederick Constant. Now for a $10,000 club, for an everyday piece, I think you have to take a look at a Rolex Explorer, a Tudor Black Bay, a Nomos Ahoy Neomatic, a watch that I own, Grand Seiko, or an Omega Railmaster, or an IWC Pilot. 18. For dress pieces, again, take a look at Grand Seiko. I think Nomoses are still very viable in this price range. Also though, you have to consider going vintage as well. I think you can see some great value in this price range with either a Rolex Datejust, uh, many Omegas, 
Zenis or a long jeans. So say you have no budget. I think for me, I'll just speak to my own opinion here. I love the Rolex Explorer 1 and 2. I think I would choose the Rolex Explorer 2. I'd go with the reference 16570. That's my favorite uh, Rolex watch, I think, in general. Uh, and then in terms of a dress watch, you have a lot of fun uh, different watches to play with here. Uh, I would go with either a Breguet Classique, a Longa a Saxonia Thin, maybe a Cartier Tank Louis, or a Patek Philippe Calatrava. Of course, if money is not an issue and you have all the money in the world, I don't even know why you're really listening to me. You can just buy an entire jewelry store. So whatever. Um, so guys, what do you think of this video? Did you like it? Give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe if you have not subscribed yet. I don't know what you're doing. Also hit that bell icon so you know when I release content for the future. Be sure to follow me on Instagram. Uh, go ahead and send me a message, a direct message on there. That's probably the best way to interact with me personally. And then also check out our Patreon. We have some great perks, including uh, private live streams with me, uh, as well as uh, discounts on our upcoming store and straps that are soon to be upcoming and some other great perks that would help support the channel and the community that we've created here of just lovers of watches. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Be well, and I will see you all very soon.